So hey, Ant Hodges here. In this video, I wanna give you a very quick, surefire way to maximize the results that you get by using Facebook advertising to grow your personal brand and be seen as a true expert in your niche. If you like this video, then please do like it, comment, let me know your thoughts, even subscribe to my channel or follow me here on this platform, however you do it, to make sure that you get notified of future videos as they come through. Everybody seems to have a secret source when it comes to things such as Facebook advertising to be able to grow your business and maximize the success that you'll get. Now for me, there's lots of mistakes that are also being made by many people who are trying to follow the tactics that are written down in books or on training programs for people who are spending a lot of money on ads and seeing some great returns. If you're just starting out, the challenge is you haven't got the same amount of budget to be able to spend on ads in the way that these authors of these books or these people who are growing their million dollar programs have got to be able to invest into ads. So how do you start out? Well, the first thing to be able to think about is visibility. Visibility is key. You've got to be seen by your audience. And to be seen by your audience, not only in terms of the content you're putting out there, but they also need to see that you can give them value in some way. And the best way to do that is through the power of video. If you can produce a series of videos that kind of point people in the direction of some of the biggest mistakes that people make when they're trying to solve the problem that you can help them to solve, and you can put them together as maybe a series of five, six, or seven videos, you can put those into an ad campaign. If you put those videos into an ad campaign and then push those in front of a cold audience by targeting the right kind of people through your ads management and look to get video views, you can get video views on a platform such as Facebook using Facebook advertising. You can get those video views for pennies on the dollar. One client this week alone has spent $200 on ads and has managed to get in front of nearly 20,000 people with his video content. And those kind of short, helpful videos that don't have any kind of call to action on them that get people interested in what you're doing is the first step. And it can be low cost, if you don't have the budget to be able to put into it. So $200 a week may sound like a lot of money, but maybe $200 spent over a month to get in front of 20,000 people might be a good way to start. And you can start to see how those campaigns are doing and how people are engaging in your content to even see whether your content is good enough to be able to help people. The second thing to do when you're thinking about a campaign like this is then to have the call to action. So how do you develop a call to action in the best possible way? Well, the thing that I would always look to do is send a call to action video again or another advert to the people who've watched the videos in your first campaign. You can do this through the power of the pixel and the engagement factor within Facebook ads. If you can set up an audience in Facebook to say all of the people who've watched this first set of videos, I want you to show them this new video, you can do that within the audience manager. It can be quite technical, it can be quite difficult to kind of get your head around this and you'll need to be able to find someone to help and to support you with this. So you need to reach out and find a Facebook ads manager um, who has done this before, it's called retargeting. Effectively what you're doing is you are retargeting a call to action advert at the people who've already seen some of your content. Many of the reports and the campaigns that we're running for clients in my team, uh, we're seeing that these co the costs on these calls to action ads are significantly lower than just going out to cold traffic. So you first set up this visibility campaign with helpful content, and then you set up a call to action campaign targeting the people who've watched the videos in that first campaign with a specific call to action. And then thirdly, you obviously need something to be able to give them in some way, shape or form. So this could be a free product on your website. It could be a video, another video series because they've watched videos. It could be a checklist or a guide, but whatever that free opt-in product that you've got, 
have that on your website ready for that call to action to drive them and get them on your list. Another great way of using this campaign is to get people onto things such as webinars or live events that you're running online. This is a great way because they're gonna experience you through the power of video, they're gonna see great value in what you're doing and then be able to say, do you know what, I'm gonna spend some time with this guy or this girl because they know their stuff. I'm gonna register for their online event. The key thing is number one, showing up, being visible, demonstrating value. And then two, getting smart with retargeting, but three, offering something of even more value where they can dig in and see your expertise. Let me know your thoughts on this strategy. I'd love to know if you tried this strategy, if you're succeeding with this strategy, drop it into the comments below. But also if you do like this video, then please do share it. If you find that it would be useful for your network, then share it across this social platform that you're on right now. It would be great to get some more eyeballs on this content because I think these kind of strategies aren't necessarily talked out in the public domain too much. They're hidden behind training products and programs as the deep dark secrets of how to maximize Facebook ads. But ultimately, you could run a campaign like this on a small budget, get big eyeballs, not big eyeballs, but get a lot of eyeballs on your content and be able to truly start to be seen as a knowledgepreneur, an expert in your niche, trying to sell and monetize your knowledge, your wisdom, and your experience. I've been Anna Hodges. I look forward to catching up with you again on another video.